Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Tony here and welcome back to part 2 of the Medieval Mansion tutorial. Today we're going to be building a stylish but practical interior complete with a kitchen and dining area, a survival workshop, a library, and a whole lot more. So there's basically two parts to building this interior. First we'll build all of our walls and floors and then we'll decorate everything. So with all that being said, let's get started. So the first step is to kind of outline our walls and then we'll build our floors. So to start on the wall to the left of the door and right behind this window, we'll place one stone brick block, skip two and then we'll make a line going all the way across the other side, then skip two again and place one more against that wall. Then we'll place one block on each side right here. So we'll have kind of an entryway that leads into the big room which will be our crafting area. Next on this wall here, we'll place three blocks, then skip two and place one, skip two again and place one more. We'll have the same doorway leading into this area, which will be the kitchen. So place two blocks, then skip two and place one, then skip two again and place one more. So that's basically all of our walls for this first level. And now we're going to build the floor, so go ahead and dig out that first layer of grass. We're going to start off our floor with a checkerboard pattern of polished blackstone and polished diorite. Let's start in the corner we're going to go five blocks out from the door and then fill in this room here. Don't go into that room on the side just yet. So we'll fill in between that blackstone with our diorite. And now on the other side over here we're going to have a 5 by 7 area and we'll make this one block away from our walls. And then we're going to have sort of a three block wide bridge of checkerboard connecting those two. Alright, so next in this kind of skinny room right here, which will be the dining room, we're going to place polished andesite one block inwards from all the walls. So that'll be a three by seven area. Next in the kitchen, we'll place stone bricks right here where the chimney will be. And then we'll fill in the rest of the floor where the kitchen is with our polished deep slate. Alright, once the kitchen is done, everything else for the floor will be made out of dark oak planks or spruce if you prefer. Okay, so that's it for our first floor, and now we'll start building up our walls to four blocks high. Right here we'll have an archway, so we'll build it up two blocks on each side and then place two upside down stairs. And then we'll place our fourth layer of blocks on top. Here we'll have the same archway using our upside down stairs. And then we'll fill in this entire wall, there's no windows or anything on it. And again we'll have the same archways in both of these two block wide gaps. Now over here by the dining room, we'll start by building up our walls up to four blocks high. And then here we're going to have two archways as well, but one block higher. So just using those two upside down stairs. And we'll copy this over here as well. Now before we start building the second floor, we'll need a way to get up there so we'll build the staircase. And for the staircase, let's start with some oak logs. Go one block diagonally from the edge of the dark oak and place one oak log on each side. 
then skip one block and place two oak logs on each side. And now go inwards one and over one and place a five block tall oak log. And now our staircase will go up with a slope of slabs starting on the edge of that checkerboard. And we'll go up with two blocks wide for now and place top slabs underneath the bottom slabs where you can and use full blocks. Right here we'll place three logs going across in between those two vertical logs. And then once you go past the logs we're going to go with a line of full blocks. Then we'll place top slabs next to that line of full blocks. One full block on each side. And then two slabs on each side. And then we'll place two full blocks on each side. And a line of slabs going across in between those full blocks. I'm just going to place a trap door on the bare ends of these logs and three fence posts in between. And now we can start filling in our second floor with spruce planks, but don't start filling in that area between the front door and the staircase just yet. So in this open area, we're going to kind of round it out first. Place four full blocks on each side on the wall of the front door. Then place three blocks on each side twice. And then we'll have a two by three in the center here. And finally, we'll just place top slabs around the edge. So now let's go ahead and finish filling in our floor, but really quick, let's just place a three by three here where the chimney is of stone bricks. And then we'll use spruce planks for the rest. Next I'm going to clean up this wall a little bit, starting with some sideways oak logs where these spruce planks are. And we'll just go across until it gets blocked by this full block. If you want you can extend the vertical log down here, but I'm not going to. Next I'm going to make a four block wide section of wall using our calcite blocks. And then we'll place a log on the end which should line up with the other one on the other side. We'll fill this in to four blocks tall, just replacing that stone brick of the tower. And next I'm going to build a railing for our staircase. So we'll use two upside down stairs in each section, but the stairs will be facing different directions. And then we'll place fence posts on top. And it'll probably be easier to place your fence post first, and then you can place a stair on the fence post, and then the other one on the full block. So once we get it started, you place the fence posts on top of there. Then you can place one stair on the fence post and one on the full block. Next we're going to add some detail to our roof. And to do this I'm going to use trapdoors as sort of like beams. We'll start on the end here and place four trapdoors going across. And then we'll just have trapdoors going across every other block. In this room here we'll do the same thing. Just trapdoors every other block going from side to side. And we'll continue it in this big room. In this area behind the stairs, we'll do the same thing, but going from the front of the house to the back of the house. In the dining room, we'll place our trap doors going from side to side, and you'll want to start one block away from the wall. You'll see me fix this in a minute.
And now finally in the kitchen we'll place our trap doors going from front to back. And here we're going to start one block away from the wall as well. Next we'll make a railing around this big opening up above. And I'm going to use oak trap doors for this, but of course if you'd rather use fences and fence posts you can. So we'll start with one trap door right here. And this one will have to be on the outside of the block. These two right here we'll make on the outside of the block, so we'll just need some placeholders. This one right here will be on the inside of the block. And then these three going across will be on the outside of the block, so we'll need some placeholders. One on the inside, and then two more on the outside. Then this one on the inside. One more on the outside. And then we'll go across here with trapdoors on the inside of the block. Then we'll just place two more right here, and we'll copy it on the other side. And that's our railing. Next we'll start building our walls on the second level. So going over to this log and then two blocks away we'll place another log. Then skip three blocks and place another. Skip three blocks again and place another and one more. Then we'll place calcite in between all these logs. But in these three block wide sections just leave one space in the center for a door. And here we're just going to divide them off into separate rooms. Now you'll see there's some empty space back here, I'm just going to fill it in. And then we'll build this all up to 4 blocks high. Of course those doorways will only be 2 blocks high, but we'll go ahead and place some doors in there now. And then we'll fill in our cow side up to 4 blocks. And then going into this room at the end of the hallway, I'll place some more calcite on each side. Okay, so on each side of the hallway, I'm going to make an archway. I'm going to place two upside down stairs at the fourth block up. And then I'm going to place trap doors on each side. And we'll repeat this on the other end of the hallway over here. And I'm also going to do it right here to divide off the storage area. And next we'll build up our staircase leading to the third level. So go two blocks over from this log, and then one block towards the back of the house. And we'll build up a four block tall oak log. Place some stairs right here, and then fill in these three blocks of spruce planks in this 2x2 two two area right here. Then we're just going to go up with our spruce stairs until we get to the 5th level here. Place upside down stairs underneath. And right here I'm going to extend this log up by 1. And then place 3 sideways logs going across. Here I'll place 2 sideways logs instead of these spruce planks. Then we'll take our spruce planks across right here and go around the staircase. And then we can fill in this entire third level with our spruce planks, just leaving that gap where the stairway is.
Now before we move on to our third level walls, I'm just going to add our trapdoor details to the top of this roof. Here it's going to be a little bit different. We're basically going to have squares of 3x3, three three, so start on this log and go all the way across from front to back. Skip three blocks and do the same. And then skip three blocks in this direction and we'll have another beam going across. And we'll just stop this one when we get to the stairs. And then we're also going to have some side to side beams starting on this log right here. And we'll go across just skipping those front to back beams. And then from here we'll just skip three blocks and place another. And this won't line up with this log, but it'll line up with the log on the other side. Again, skip three blocks and place another. And this time it should line up with the logs on both sides. Skip three more blocks here and place one final side to side beam. And I think we actually need one more front to back beam right here, three blocks over. Alright, so that all looks good and now we'll do some front to back beams every other block in the hallway. And then at the room at the end of the hallway we'll place beams going from side to side every other block and starting one block away from the wall. No need to place any on these three blocks because we'll have a chimney there. So the third level walls get a little bit more complicated. Here I'm going to replace these two spruce planks with sideways logs and then we'll build up three blocks wide of calcite up to the roof. Build this log up to the roof and then we'll take this calcite all the way across and build it up to the roof. Next place a block of calcite one block away from that stair. And we'll place a total of four blocks and skip three and place three more. And here we're actually going to place two more for a total of five. And then we'll go across to this wall. And we'll just build this up a ways. Going back into here where the stair comes up. We have three blocks on this side of the door, so we'll have three blocks on this side as well. And then just place two blocks, skip three, and then place two more. And then here we'll place two more calcite blocks, then skip two for a doorway, and place four more in this L shape. Skip one for a door and then place two more to the wall, and we'll just connect it here. And then we'll extend this wall with stone bricks to close that off. Go ahead and place some doors in these gaps. And this wall will take a cross until we get to this dormer. And then we'll extend the dormer down so it'll stick in with by one. And you can't break this block, so just leave that there and place two more against the wall. Over here we'll do the same thing, so two by two against the wall. And then we'll fill in our dormer down to the ground. And we'll fill in these four blocks here. And now it turns out you can actually break these two blocks on each dormer. So we'll break the blocks in the two dormers here, and also this one. In this three block wide gap right here, we'll place three trap doors on each side. And then we'll have an upside down stair above that, but we'll place some calcite blocks so we can place it. And then a trap door in between. And now we'll just take this wall all the way up to the ceiling. Inside here we'll just build up this calcite on the side up to three blocks tall. This part is good and then over here we'll build these blocks up to the ceiling and these blocks up by one for now. We're going to build these blocks here up to a total of five so three more. In this room we'll basically have two walls of calcite and two walls of stone bricks. So here we'll just fill this in with stone bricks. We're going to 
gonna build this up to five blocks, so one more, and then this up to four, and I'm gonna extend these up to the roof. I'm gonna place this one here with calcite. I'm not sure if that's really necessary, but we'll do it anyway. Build these blocks up to the roof. These ones are good. Build this up to the roof. And I think our walls are good now. We'll just start cleaning up the roof. All right, so let's go back to this main room here. And I'm gonna start by just placing upside down stairs. Here we'll just skip the dormer. Then we'll continue our upside down stairs, again skipping the dormer. And right here we'll just place two top slabs. Continue with our stairs. And then here I'm going to place a line of full blocks right above the stairs, so we'll have one block of empty space up there. And then we'll just go back down with our stairs. Oh, and in this gap right here we're going to make a little wooden archway. So start with an upside down stair on each side, and then two trap doors on each side and one at the top here. We'll clean up this hallway just by going up with stairs for three rows, and then we'll also place some calcite right here. Then I'm also going to place two oak log beams going across on the fourth block up, and each one will be one block away from the wall. In the library here, we're going to start with our upside down stairs, and just stop where we get to the dormer. And before we go any farther, I'm going to place some vertical oak logs, four blocks tall, two blocks away from the wall, and then skip two blocks and place another. And we'll do the same thing over here, except this will go all the way across. So I'll have three oak logs with two blocks in between them. And this side we only have two. So let's continue our stairs now. And now for the dormer, I'm going to place one line of full blocks, one block above the window. And then we'll place our stairs going down from that, and we'll connect it with the mainframe. And that's our dormer, now we'll just fill the rest of this in. At the top, we'll place a line of full blocks right above those stairs. Then we'll start going back down with our stairs. And for both of these dormers, I'm going to place two slabs, just like we did on that first room. And then we'll just place stairs for the rest. Okay, so next we'll go into this big room, which will be the master bedroom. And we're just going to start with our stairs. And at the top we'll place full blocks. Then we'll go back down with our stairs. And here for our dormers, so I'll place a line of full blocks, one block above the window. I'll just take that all the way across. And from here we'll go down with stairs. This top row of stairs will just go all the way across on each side. I'll fill in this empty space using full blocks. Then on the next row of stairs, we'll connect it. You'll see me place a block there, but that's a mistake. We'll just have the one stair here and then the one stair turning. We'll do the same thing over here, so three stairs in an L shape. And we'll repeat that for all these junctions. Then I'm just going to continue our roof over here on the other side of that dormer. I'm going to fill in this floor with stone bricks and extend it out by one. And then I'll place stone bricks going up on each side. Break out these three blocks and then we'll continue our roof into here. And replace this one with a deep slate tile block as well. That's it for the master bedroom, and the last section is our tower, which will be a barracks. So going in here, we're going to start with the staircase. 
So on the left side of the door, we'll place one stair, and then we'll go up with our stairs. Anyway, we'll place one more stair here, and one more on this side of the wall. Now at this level, we'll build in our floor out of spruce planks. Of course, just leave a hole here so you can get up your stairs. Going back down below, I'm going to place upside down stairs underneath our stairs. Now going straight across from this staircase, we'll place one stair face in this direction and then three more. Then I'll place some upside down stairs underneath. And now this next floor is going to be a little bit interesting. Start with two slabs here, and then we'll go through a line of upside down stairs like so. Then we'll have another line of upside down stairs right here, but facing the other direction. So we kind of have like one block of slab and then a half block sticking out. And this will just make like sort of beams to support our wood floor. In the middle here we'll place a line of top slabs. And on that we'll place a line of upside down stairs. On the end we'll place another line of slabs and then our upside down stairs on that. So that's what this roof will look like and the next one will look like this as well. So going across from this staircase so we're going to build the same staircase. So one stair this way and then three more this way. Just break that out so you can get up. Then I'll place some upside down stairs underneath. We'll place our two slabs here. Now I'm actually just going to break out all of these full blocks just so we can place our new roof in there. So we'll place a line of upside down stairs here. A line of slabs in the center. Then a line of upside down stairs placed on those slabs. And another one on this side. A line of slabs on the end here and then one more line of upside down stairs. And now we're done with our walls and floors and ready to move on to the decorations. And I'm probably going to stop narrating here because it always feels kind of redundant. If you need to know the name of a block or something, just keep an eye on the hotbar at the bottom of the screen.
Alright, and that's it for this build. As always guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're not already, subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.